Hello, my darlings. My name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. Aquarius, I'm going to do your reading for you this afternoon. Um, before I start, just a quick announcement. A uh, reminder about tonight's live session uh, with Veritas with me um, at nine o'clock GMT time. That's nine o'clock London time. So do check your time zones. I know the US changed their clocks this weekend and the UK did the weekend before. So do check your time zones. I have put in the description box for the live reading and the announcement, different time zones around the world. So do see if yours is there. If not, check on Google. Um, I'll be doing the same as I did last Sunday, which was great fun. I'll be doing a, a short general reading for those energies in the room and those that Spirit intends to watch the reading afterwards. And then I'm going to devote the rest of the time. Last week, it was about an hour and 40 minutes to answering as many questions as I can, to pulling as many questions as I can for questions that are put in the comments. Um, so please do join me there if I missed any of your questions last week um, because there were a lot coming through I am sorry do let me know and I will look to answer them this time but I am looking to do this every Sunday from now on um, so this reading is for those that most need to hear it Aquarius um, and if it resonates with you you're simply remembering what you already know what your soul already knows my words are simply spirits words messages are simply a trigger for you um, if it doesn't resonate it simply means it wasn't for you at this time my darling but there'll always be a reading out there for you at exactly the right time as guided by spirit so this is for Aquarius spirit for those that most need to hear this message so you've got the angel of strength number 50 so this is change that's happening for you right now at this time and you are it's almost a resolution for you. You're having to use a lot of willpower to accept this change. And that's understandable um, because it's like the strength card. This is a big life changing moment for you. And change is something that we have been conditioned to almost fear that we, you know, we try and hold on to things. We try and keep the status quo of things. We try and keep things remaining consistent, but actually life doesn't work like that. Everything is always changing. It's always evolving. It's always moving forward. And you are being given, a, you know, a lot of strength and courage at this time, and you have it within you to embrace this change. And with that, that inner strength, you're coming into such a place of empowerment as well. This is not a time for you to almost um, be passive at the moment. This is a time for you to speak your truth, but be very gentle about it. And when you speak your truth and being gentle, it means that you talk from the soul space, you talk from your higher self, you talk with the universe, with God's ancient wisdom and love. And to do that, to allow your mind to step away for a little while, that condition, critical mind, you say thank you for the right words and then you open your mouth and you speak and you trust that whatever comes out is coming from the right place and you will feel it and hear it and know it as you speak it. And it is not so much how the message is received, my darling, that's a consideration for you. Because if it is not spirit's intent, God intent for the person to receive the message, or it is their intent for them to receive a seed of the message that will grow within them, it is actually for you because as you speak those words, you receive them and you gain your own insight and clarity. You're doing it for yourself. Um, and you've got number 46, the thinking man at the bottom of the deck. So this is about somebody around you at this time who has been sent to you or somebody in your life or somebody coming into your life that has a lot of wisdom. Uh, this is God's messenger, has a lot of wisdom, has a lot of understanding at this time. Um, they've gone through things in their life where they have observed and sat back and reflected and released and let go of things. But so pay attention. It could also talk about a new love interest coming in for you at this time or um, just simply a male friend. So that's very lovely. So let's look a little bit more into this for you. Let me put those cards to one side. And what am I going to pull up? I'm going to pull up my psychic tarot. Thank you. And this is also a time you know, with the strength card, the, the lion can represent our ego, our pain body. So it's not a time to react to things from the ego pain body. It's a time of different perception. It's a time of observation and it's a time of speaking from your heart space, my darling. Um, and what have you got that's come out? You've got two major arcanas. <laughs> it's a time, they are very funny. It's a time for you to listen and observe listen and observe this is the high priestess and this is the hangman so not reacting 
not feeling that you have to get your point across because actually if somebody's committed to understanding to, to misunderstanding you there's nothing you can say or do that's going to change their mind about you and you don't have to defend yourself to anybody you just have to understand it yourself you and only you have direct perception of your life of your feelings of where you are going of of your soul's intent your intuition so a time to listen and observe this is a time to take a step back in that you watch almost watch what's happening for you because everything's happening for you it's how you choose to receive it that's the gift and that's the different perception you're not the victim of it you regain that empowerment and that control as you know because you've got that angel of strength card there of releasing it and letting it go and understanding it's happened for you to be the next greatest grandest version of who you are so listen and observe listen also listen and silent contain the same letters so be quiet at this time don't feel the need to defend yourself sometimes silence is the best way of communicating with somebody or a sequence whatever it is that is there to either misguide you or just there to miss not choosing to understand you listen to understand thank you spirit not just to reply as well for you and observe everything because in the observing you're stepping out of your thoughts and feelings we are not our thoughts and feelings we th we think oh i'm feeling this oh i'm thinking that so who is watching that thinking and feeling that that's your soul that's divine source energy. That's the silence, the unobserved observer, the unwatched watcher. So observe from that space and then you allow more and more clarity to come in for you. So this is a need to observe at this time for you. And the hangman is that if you start to do this, you'll start to see it all from a new perspective. You'll start to see how everything has led to where you are now. Everything that you have gone through, you have evolved because of it. Every blockage has been an opportunity for growth. Every difficult relationship has been a chance to release and let go of things within yourself that needed to do so. And it's all bringing yourself to where you are now. And this beautiful angel of strength card, this number 50, this change, you are being so protected and guided right now. Um, so let's move on and use uh i want to see what else with my sun and moon tarot for you at this time thank you spirit um if you have not had any reiki healing it might be a, an opportunity for you now to have some reiki healing um chakras which Reiki is connected to chakras are those energy points within our bodies and they're all connected to the vital organs within us. And those, those energy points can get blocked with various things that we haven't released from within ourselves. And it just help that energetic flow within you because we are all just energy darling and emotion is, is literally energy emotion. Thank you. What else do you want to tell Aquarius? Thank you. The princess of pentacles. This is the page of pentacles. This listening and observing allows a transitional time for you it's a time of nurturing as well um and it's a time of move there's some form of transitional movement for you there's some form of something coming in that is a universe's gift a universe's offer tell me more about this princess of pentacles thank you spirit of course it's the king of pentacles so it's bringing you this change this different perception is bringing you to a place more of being, more of releasing and letting go and relaxing and allowing things to come in for you. When we try and control things, when we try and force things to happen, we're stopping the universal flow. We're getting in the way of it. We're making things slow down. So relax and let it in. Imagine it, create it in your mind, sit in your creative expression and do what it is that you love to do because we were created to create. Every time you are creative, you're listening to your soul. Everything that brings you joy and happiness and relief, that is your soul's intent. And your soul is sitting, sitting there underneath all sorts of layers of fears and anxieties, feeling peace, feeling contentment, feeling joy, feeling unconditional love for you. And it's just about tapping into that. 
So the king of pentacles is bringing you into space of a lot less doing and a lot more being and allowing it all to come in. Um, and what they're asking you to do is exactly what I said, is within the feminine energy of you, be the queen of wands. Don't be afraid to be who you are. Whatever it is that you're doing may be different to what other people have expectations of you. They may have a very different perspective of who you are. It might scare them. It might frighten them because you are making a shift and a change in your life. But don't be afraid of that. Don't try and be who somebody else wants you to be. Be who you want yourself to be. Accept who you are right now. Accept what you're being driven and guided to do. It's really important at this time for you. And that leopard is observing. And you see that leopard is looking forward, not back. Continue to look forward on this journey, my darling. Um, thank you. One last card, please, for Aquarius. Thank you. Last message for Aquarius. Thank you. What's coming in for them? They've given you, oh, how lovely. Okay, so you've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands and the Four of Cups. So it's a reminder for you um, with the Four of Cups, huge transformation, huge change. You don't need to hold on to any of it, my darling. It's all happening anyway. And whatever's meant to be in your life or remain in your life or come into your life is going to do so. You've gone through a big cycle and now there is a gift, an opportunity that the universe is bringing in for you. And for, in order for that to come in, it's about the acceptance of who you are right now, not who you think you should be for yourself or for others. It's acceptance of who you are. No regrets, my darling. You are exactly where you're meant to be at this time. And what that's doing is allowing the universe to come in this swiftness, this eight of wands, listen listen and observe see the magic of it all happening around you you are causing it all to happen either yourself individually or in collaboration with other souls step out of your door tomorrow imagining this is your universe because it is and see with that perception Ooh, that's interesting that happened you know when we when we when a car park space magically appears in front of us or we're thinking about somebody and they call us we've done that that's our soul causing we create, we manifest subconsciously and con consciously all the time. So do it consciously and be aware of it and just keep saying, thank you. I'd like more of that, please. Thank you. I'm very grateful for that because that is what's happening. It allows the winds of change to, to, to happen for you. And it's all going beautifully. Your wishes, it's almost like these are wishes, these eight of wands happening for you here. And this is leading you to this beautiful ten of pentacles space. This... Um, whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest trust in it know it it's happened it's happened in the 5d it, you haven't yet seen it in the 3d it can sometimes take much longer than we choose to believe it should take because we're very attached to time but the universe has a beautiful divine timing and whatever this is whatever this ten of pentacles is it's something that um, is going to come in at the same energy space as you. It's something that you are causing and creating. Um, and I think, and it's a wealth of abundance. The universe has it all lined up for you. You just have to relax and let it in, my darling. So I think that's a lovely reading for you. And I think it's going to happen sooner than you think in a weird kind of way. I've just seen the tower card. So this is a sudden and swift sort of almost soul intervention uh, for what's uh, coming in for you. Um, Hmm. you are going to be so grounded in this ten of pentacles space it is it is lovely but you don't need to hold on to it it's coming it's coming it's coming in its natural timing a little bit like a an oak tree growing it starts with an acorn drop your acorn that's your manifestation that's your desires drop it let it go with the trust that it's coming back to you in a full amazing oak tree but it'll come in natural timing natural growth all right, my darling, I hope that uh, has resonated and helped with whoever's come to listen to this reading this afternoon. I look forward to seeing as many of you as possible that wish to join tonight at nine o'clock. Uh, otherwise, I'll be on going live every evening at nine o'clock on a Sunday night. Um, but I'll be doing your next reading before the end of the month. And then I'll be moving into 2022 readings for you, which will be exciting. Take care, my darlings. Lots of love. Bye bye.